again from West Craig Hill Drive. Last Sunday was Pentecost, the birthday of the Church, and now we have entered into the season after Pentecost, which begins this week. Next Sunday, Trinity Sunday, is the first Sunday. The season ends on the Sunday preceding Advent. It is called Ordinary Time. Ordinary Time is called, in Latin, Tempus Por Annum, which means time throughout the year. The season is also called Ordinary Time because the Sundays do not have special names, just ordinal numbers. Ordinary Time is not supposed to be viewed as ordinary in the sense of lacking meaning or being a break from the liturgical year. The opposite is actually true. Ordinary Time celebrates the mystery of Christ in all its aspects, and the liturgical color is green because it is the most ordinary color in our natural environment. The season falls between Christmas and Lent, and also between Easter and Advent exclusive. It focuses on celebrating the entirety of Christ's person. The scripture for this Wednesday is the same scripture as the Gospel that I read on Pentecost Sunday. But the message on Pentecost Sunday was entitled, Filled with the Spirit, and the scriptural basis for it came from the book of Acts rather than from the Gospel itself. So I will read from the Gospel lesson now, and I will continue using the Living Book of Daily Prayer for the rest of the meditation for today. Reading from John 14. John said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? And Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. And Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be sufficient for us. Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip, even after I have been amongst you for at least for such a, such a long time? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father, and in the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or at least believe on the evidence of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing and they will do even greater things than these. Because I am going to the Father, and I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. If you love me, keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you to be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. And the special prayer for that particular gospel is as follows. Great Amen, Father God. Today has been a gift. I pray that my life has been a gift to you. It is difficult to believe that I am called to do greater things than Jesus. Yet I know that your word does not lie. I look at the world around me, and my heart is filled with compassion for what I see. There are so many needs, so much hurt, so great sorrow, and such varied cares. Am I to do greater things? Help me to know what to do. Help me to speak with your authority, to act with your boldness, and to be at one with you, I pray. I will do greater things today because Jesus lives in me and he gives me his spirit. Amen. And that brings us to the intercessory prayers for today. Greater things begin when I pray, and for the great things I have neglected today, I ask forgiveness. 
the great needs upon my heart, I pray. We praise your abiding guidance, O God, for you sent us Jesus, our teacher and Messiah, to model for us the way of love for the whole universe. We offer these prayers of love on behalf of ourselves and our neighbors, on behalf of your creation and our fellow creatures. So the prayers of the people are taken from the prayer list that is on our church website. These are only some, and you may want to in use the entire list that you'll find on that website and add those specific that are, that are special for you. Prayers for Pastor Bradley during this quarantine time. Lord, hear our prayer. Prayers for all of those on our prayer list, including those who continue to recuperate from illness and surgery. Lord, hear our prayer. And so we conclude with loving God Open our ears to hear your word and draw us closer to you that the whole world may be one with you as you are one with us in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The closing prayer for today is for the greater things that can be accomplished in me while I rest, I now pray. Thanks be to Christ. Amen. Well, that concludes our meditation for this Wednesday. And I would hope that perhaps you might be able to join us this evening for our study of the Paul's letter to the Galatians. And join us, if you can, on Sunday morning, next Trinity Sunday. God bless you, and have a wonderful day. I will see you again next time.